Hey, everybody. It's great to see everybody joining. Thanks for joining today. I see some, some family and friends, some uh, former uh, team members and crew. Um, so thanks so much for joining this morning. We're going to get started shortly. Um, our protagonist uh, and subject, I see Clarissa is here. So we're going to make you co-host Clarissa. Um, and if you want to just do, we could do a quick spotlight on Clarissa. Hi, good to see you. So we, we have a few people coming in. We want to welcome everybody for joining us today. I think we have people from all over the world, from Malawi, Brazil, and uh, all over. So if you want to just throw your city and state and country in the chat, we welcome that. And we have a few uh, more people coming in as the team welcomes them in. We're just uh, going to just take a moment and then we're going to kick it off. So thanks. Excellent. Well, um, thanks everybody for joining. We're going to get started in just a moment. Um, today is a very special day and we're just very excited to have Clarissa Wagner with us, the entire Splicer Films team and alumni with us today. So thank you so much for joining us and we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, as you all know, Universal Love is our latest documentary, and we are here to celebrate the completion of the trailer for Universal Love today. We're also here to share um, the story of Wagner and Clarissa and their beautiful family. Uh, we want to introduce the amazing Spicer Films team behind this beautiful project, including Clarissa Paz, uh, Wagner Mora Gomez, and their beautiful family, and of course, the Fraternity Without Borders family. Um, we're so happy to have the Splicer Films team here as well. Welcome. And I'm Annette King, and I'm the founder of Splicer Films. We aim to tell stories of purpose and impact that can inspire audiences to create a better world. We know there's so much um, uh, content out there, but our, our focus is to uplift unseen heroes that are leading causes in their community to address issues and really make a difference and, and be a humanitarian in their own right. Um, and we met Clarissa and Wagner through Mike Mutej, who might actually be here today. We have so many people, guests coming in. Um, we'd like to say hi to Mike Mutej if he's here. Um, we were honored to tell Mike's story in our first documentary, Finding Ubuntu. And he was a remarkable change maker and joined forces with Clarissa, Wagner, and the entire Fraternity Without Borders team to found Ubuntu Nation. And that's a project there in Malawi that they've been working on. So both Gladys and Wagner are here with us and they are true role models for the work that they've been doing in uh, Malawi and all over the world. Um, and so we're just so honored to be able to share your story. So just wanna say a quick hi. Hi Clarissa, hi Wagner. Hi, hi Annette, hi everybody. Mm -hmm. Annette, I don't know if it's possible to tell to uh, just tell people how to start the subtitles. If yeah. Julia maybe can just tell, but maybe many people are not understanding anything. Yes, let's do that. Thank you so much. Okay. For uh, Let me share screen and Julia take it away. Can you all okay. see the screen? We can put Julia um Gunya on spotlight. Thank you. Thank you. Quem quiser, boa, boa tarde a todos. Quem quiser ligar é, a legenda, tem uma opção é, na tela de vocês que chama Mostrar Legendas. Você liga, liga o Mostrar Legendas e escolhe a língua que você quer que seja traduzido simultaneamente. Aí, enquanto falamos em inglês, vai aparecer a legenda em português. E se alguém tiver alguma dúvida e quiser mandar uma mensagem direta para mim, pode usar o chat, por favor. Julia, aonde está o mostrar, mostrar legenda? Como é que a pessoa acessa? Porque mesmo a gente não está tela, a tela, a tela na nossa frente, captions, legenda, tá sendo, tem uma Sim. seta, mostrar, selecione, selecione mostrar a legenda. Você tem dois Cs, Cs embaixo, duas letras Cs, show captions. Aqui você vai escolher 
vai mostrar a legenda, vai abrir uma telinha e você vai escolher a língua que você quer que seja traduzido. No caso, quem quiser o português, seleciona o português. Aí, enquanto a gente fala em inglês, vai aparecer traduzido em português. Are there any questions? If there are, the, um, the chat can go to Julia Cunha. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have Mike Mutej. We cannot not feature Mike Mutej. <laughs> Is everybody good with their captions? Alguma dúvida com, com relação à legenda? Thank you. Uh, if we if we're able to spotlight Mike Mutej for just a moment, since we were just um, talking about the work that he's done at uh, Fraternity Without Borders, that would be great. If his camera's off, that might not be possible, and that's okay. Um, John, can I get a thumbs up or down on that one? <laughs> if he's yeah, it's okay. If we um, can get uh, him to share his. Camera at some point, we will definitely spotlight Mike Mutej, who many of you may already be familiar with. He's just an amazing change maker. Um, and we got to feature him along with Gladysa and Wagner in our first film. But today we're here to talk about universal love. This is such a beautiful documentary and it follows the journey of Gladysa Paz and Wagner Mora Gomez and their beautiful growing family. Um, they have a multinational family that they have been wor um, working to grow um, as humanitarian workers uh, for Fraternity Without Borders at Zaleka Refugee Camp in Malawi. They have been aiming to provide opportunities for people who are the most vulnerable communities. But when they learn that there are young orphans living alone at the camp, they step up and they open their homes and their hearts to these kids. And um, it's a family that's growing 13 and beyond. And um, it's just a true representation of love and compassion and their family. For us, we've seen, and the reason we want to spotlight this story is because it's a microcosm and a representation of how the world can and should be living as brothers and sisters, people from different backgrounds, nationalities, and coming together and living together as one family. And so, in fact, they speak eight languages in this home, and it's it's such a beautiful story. We can't wait to share it with you and the world. Um, so today, we want to just open it up and say hello to Wagner and Clarissa. If you want to say a few words, Wagner and Clarissa, and say hi. Thank you so much for allowing us to, to share your inspiring story and um, being a part of this journey with you. How are you all today? We are all fine. We are very happy to be here with you. We are here with our family, with the kids. We are many different places here in the room, but we are very happy to to be together. And thank you so much for all of you that are here. It took time to be here with us. We appreciate. Big Adam, thank you. We're so happy to see everybody. Hi, kids. I love the whole family yeah. where you have to swivel to get everybody in. <laughs> Next time we'll have multiple monitors. <laughs> nice to see everybody. Thank you, thank you. And if uh, Ivanovich is there, we would love to introduce Ivanovich, who has been um, a partner at Splicer Films for quite some time. He's, he's um, I'm gonna share a little bit about Ivanovich here. Um, he is a director and uh, producer, field producer for Splicer Films. He's been working in Malawi as a humanitarian and a photographer and videographer for many years. And we started partnering with him in 2020. And he's actually been involved in every one of our films, Finding Ubuntu, Fear Not, um, A Divine Journey, and now Universal Love. So we're just so proud to be working with you, Ivanovich. Um, it's such an honor, and we would like to introduce you and ask you about universal love a little bit, if you're available. There you are. So for those of you who don't know, he is wearing so many hats today. He's here as a guest on Zoom, but he's also filming behind the scenes, uh, Wagner and Clarissa right now. So thanks for jumping in, uh, Ivanovich. And can you tell us about your journey filming um, universal love and what was the most compelling part of the story? and um, what really touched you in the moments that you've been filming Universal Love? 
Oh, we just need to unmute. I think uh, we could do that. Can you hear me? Yes. Everyone can hear me? I can hear you, everybody, yes. Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Ivanovich here. You have heard my <laughs> the introduction from Annette. So let me just uh, go ahead and uh, say what uh, it touched me to to work uh, and uh, film this uh, beautiful family. It was uh, a great pleasure to 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 work with them, to be with them, just uh, follow their like their life here in Malawi with the family as a family, which is a great uh, moment which I had together with them. And I have been with them uh, since uh, 2019. So we are like, it's, it's, it's like they are friends. They are friends to me. And uh, since I started uh, last year to just uh, film this uh, great family, which was not a surprise for me because they are humanitarian. They have this kind of uh, passion of helping people. And the way they are just uh, raising these kids, it's uh, you can see that uh, it's come from their heart. They really love these kids as their own. Even the kids, they call them mom, dad, and it's a it's a it's a great moment. It's really touched me the way they are so connected between them, as the parents and the kids. Yeah. Were there any surprises along the way when you were filming? Anything that else you want to share before we um, uh, introduce Julia? Okay, uh, surprises. Uh, it's uh, from, from the kids, the real kids. Uh, Sakina, it's uh, so funny, so funny the way she she's always uh, uh, like <laughs> she's always uh, uh, like. Uh, make fun eh, of the whole family when they they are just like recently when they are just about to 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 pray because that's their culture as a family uh, the way she started to to sing and last year she was a uh, still a little bit yeah, like a kid who can't uh, speak who can't uh, just sing but i was got surprised uh, recently the way she she started to just sing that's that's it was amazing even the, the you have seen the, there's a shot which i took uh, of ayan and the sakina uh, kissing each other so those are great moments which really touched me even the kids when they are dancing with the Clarissa, you can see the way they are so connected uh, as a family Thank you for sharing, Ivanovich. We're so excited to see the film and um, to showcase the trailer. And we're just so appreciative of the work that you've been doing in the ground, on the ground in the field. For those of you who don't know, this is a remarkable fun fact. Ivanovich is just, he is working double time right now. He's filming two of our productions, A Universal Love and A Divine Journey docuseries right now. So he's literally switching from one production to another. So hats off. And we're so happy that you're here today, Ivanovich, and cannot do wait to do the big reveal of the trailer. So at this time, I'd like to introduce Julia. Um, she has been involved in the project since last year. And I just need to share a little bit about Julia. She's and I, can we get Julia on spotlight? There we go. Um, so Julia is our lead screenwriter and production team lead. She's also the key, the lead editor on Universal Love, not just for the trailer, but for the whole film. And we're just so grateful, Julia. I think there's such a special connection because Julia is also from Brazil, where Wagner and Clarissa are from. And so we wanted to um, welcome you, Julia, and just ask you about your process and, and this whole editing of the trailer. What did you find most compelling about the story? And what were some of the standout clips? Hi, good morning, everyone, and to all the Brazilians present, boa tarde a todos. Me chamo de Julia aqui, mas meu nome é Maria Julia Machado. And as a fellow Carioca like Clarissa, I'm deeply honored to contribute to such a beautiful narrative of universal love. 
It's a source of immense pride for me to delve into the story of such a powerful Brazilian woman and her beautiful, loving family. I think that the most compelling aspect of Clarissa and Wagner's story for me is the dedication and compassion that they have towards others. Their selfless acts, fueled purely by kindness and love, stands out from our often materialistic and profit-driven society. And it's truly inspiring to see such genuine generosity. Um, and while I'm editing, probably the clips that stand it out for me the most, uh, like Ivanovich mentioned, is uh, Ayan, uh, when he kisses Sakina. Um, it's such, such a cute moment. Um, there's also a clip of a, a baby that he's, he's wearing, uh, sunglasses and he's giving a thumbs up, um, which I think is going to bring smiles to a lot of people's faces. And, um, yeah, just, I love enjoying to see the kids, uh, together and showing their love to each other. And yeah, my favorite moments are going to be in the trailer. So you guys are going to see them all in a second. Excellent. So, so uh, happy that you're sharing these special moments, Julia, and that uh, you've been able to even interview some of Gladysa's family in Brazil when you were in Rio. Um, so it's just a, such a special um, collaboration across the world, quite frankly, with Ivanovich in Malawi and you in Brazil. And of course, we'll be able to see Wagner soon in Los Angeles at the Fraternity Without Borders Conference. So we're just um, really grateful to be able to spotlight such a beautiful story. So without further ado, I know we have a um, been building up the suspense here. Uh, we'd like to showcase the beautiful story of Wagner and Clarissa and this beautiful trailer. So just one moment as I share screen. I am Clarissa Pereira da Paz. I am coordinator of Fraternidades Sem Fronteiras NGO, and I live in Malawi. It's now 52,000 refugees there, and looks like it's arriving around 500 to 700 refugees per month. We are receiving around 60 people every day asking us job, asking us help. The truth is that we can help just a few people. If you see the amount of refugees living in Zaleka, the ones who receive our help is just few, is even not 1% of the population. So the need is huge. Imagine if all the families could adopt a child who is orphaned. We could not have orphans in the world. It's not allowed to officially adopt a refugee here in Malawi. But I feel in my heart they are my kids. They feel in their hearts I am their mother. So I can't give up. Maybe if the world knows that this is happening with refugees and this is happening with our lives, maybe one day we can really have them as our kids. I used to tell them they have two mothers, the biologic mother, and me, the, the, the adopt mother, and the, the ones who they're born by their hearts, I explained them that they born through my heart. Our family is an example of a family uh, of love, that love is not biologic. Love is, is for everyone, is for anyone, who is for all the people in the world. Amazing. Thank you so much, Julia. What a beautiful piece. And uh, Wagner and Clarissa, we just wanted to open it up to you and um, get your thoughts on the trailer and this journey of being spotlighted in your story. Is there anything memorable during this journey while you've been filming um, and telling your story that you want to share with the audience or your thoughts on the trailer? Yeah. 
For us, it's just amazing to see because we are just living the life together. But now that we see the videos, we just see, wow, our family is so beautiful. Uh, we are able to see the videos. So it's amazing. We are also happy here. Uh, I think instead of me to talk, I will call someone here to call, to talk because he just said, oh my gosh, he's so beautiful. So I want Mika. To say what he, <laughs> what he like, you can share. What did you feel? We were able to get about, yes, we're doing the video, but we didn't see how far it is going to be. So I can see the it's a good surprise, and I'm proud of our mom and dad. Loud, loud, loud. And we are proud of our mom and dad. I think the so speaker are, might get covered. Did the speaker get covered when it moved? I, we definitely want to hear. I think, oh. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. afternoon, My name is Mike. I'm the son of mom and dad here. Yeah, I thank so much for the video we have. We always live together. We did the video, but I wasn't seeing them, but now I see them is very nice. They keep us very well with love. And this video is so amazing. The love together as one. Yeah, I love them so much. And I would help everybody to be like that in their family and to share the love with their family. So I love my family so much. Yeah, that's why I'm here to see more about my family. Thank you. It's so amazing. The way he, if you see what, he, I don't know if you hear what he said, but he said he wished that all the family should have this love. Uh, for us, it's very special. To see the video, but also to listen what he's saying uh, after to see this film. So we feel happy that we are part of this, and we are happy. We are happy that they felt the love uh, all the time with us, with our family, and also through the video. So I think this is more important than everything is for them to feel happy with this video, and not uh, with the video because the video shows our real life. So I'm just happy to. To be with them here and to them to see and also all of you yeah thank you so much thank you for sharing this beautiful words and we're just um bursting with joy that you all are um sharing and allowing us to be a part of your your life and your journey and um we want to open it up to family and friends because we know a lot of your friends and family are on this call from Brazil, I think your brother might be from Washington, D.C. Um, is there anyone who wants to share their thoughts um, and uh, we can spotlight them side by side with Wagner and Clarissa or anybody uh, from the team? I'd love to open it up to the audience. You can raise your hand and our team here can unmute you um, so that you can share your thoughts. Does anyone want to share? I see so many Beautiful faces from everywhere. All right, I think we have John. Hi, John. Yeah, hi. Um, yeah, I'm John, the content marketer here at Splicer Films. And as our the entire Splicer team was working on your film and also working on the trailers and whatnot, uh, we were we can't help but be touched by your story. Um, I'm pretty sure for any parents, like especially a lot of people here should be parents. But even having one or two kids is a lot of work. But the fact that you went above and beyond to adopt a lot of children, 13 children, and go through the whole entire process of loving them from your own heart. And as you mentioned in the uh, in the trailer, to, like, to be like the mother and father out of our hearts is just truly heartwarming. And I hope that a lot of more people, as the film comes out, gets to see your story and just spread the message out there. So thank you, guys. Thank you so much, John. I see Pedro. Thank you for sharing your your thoughts, John, and your your work on this project. I definitely look forward to showcasing some of your work in just a moment. I see Pedro. Um, we're going to ask you to unmute uh, Pedro, and I think it's Christine. Hey. Hi. 
share who you are and <laughs> here, buddy. yeah I'm, I'm pedro i live i live in the u.s with uh with christine my wife and one of our kids is here noah he's staring out the window mail truck just went by so mm -hmm. But yeah, it's so so special. I mean, it's really it's so cool to to hear the story and see it because we we talk to Clarissa a lot. We've done video tours of the area, and we hear we've obviously spent time with Wagner and Ion. But it's so so cool to actually see it um, and hear the story, hear the story, and really understand it better. And I, I mean, just to yeah, we were, we were, we were all emotional here watching the video, um, and obviously you the size of their hearts is just not even comparable to anything you ever see. So it just softens you in a way to kind of take a different approach to life, which obviously they both done and are so committed to and just how they treat not only the people in their families, but their family seems is obviously continuing to grow um, in such a beautiful way. So yeah, it's undoubtedly, I, I think it's just so, so inspirational to see it and and to kind of hear it from, yeah, not to hear it and to see it and to see them paint the picture in that broad way. And Clarissa has such a way with words to sort of put into exactly what's going on with, with them and to just show you what's inside their heart. It's really, really special. So it's so cool. Such a cool project. And uh, yeah, can't be thankful enough for us, for you all to capture it and to show us the the inner workings of their life. Thanks. Oh my gosh. It's great to see you and your family. And I love the cousins yeah, there. Oh my gosh. Look at that cousins from all the way from Washington, DC and <laughs> in Malawi. <laughs> you see you? Say hi, buddy. I love this universal family and universal love. Yeah. Good to see you, Pedro. I think we have Mike Mutej. Mike, if you're able to uh, turn on your camera, then we can spotlight you. If that's possible. If not, we could just ask you to, oh, yay, there's Mike. Hey, hello, guys. <laughs> I'm here with the old team of, of Congo. Uh, I'll show you. <laughs> just a second. Hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All the team of Congo here. <laughs> so just wanted to say in the name of all the team, congratulations, Clarissa. We are so proud of you. I know today is just uh, reminding us how much you are amazing, how much Papa Wagner is amazing and inspiration, a big inspiration for us. And you living that beautiful family, it's you know always teaching us god bless you we are part of that family that's part of uh, the universal love we love you so much and we love everyone Beijo. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much mike I see Maida. Do we? Um, thanks, Maida, for raising your hand, and we'll unmute you. And we could keep Wagner. Oi. Posso falar em português? Pode. <laughs> Pode. Alguém me ajuda na tradução. Sim. Legal. Eu sou a Maíra. Eu sou prima da Clarissa. É... Okay. So I am Maíra. I am Clarissa's cousin. E eu tenho muito orgulho dela, do Wagner. Amo demais todas essas crianças que são meus sobrinhos, embora eu não tenha am, conhecido todos pessoalmente. I am very proud of her. I am very proud of Wagner. I, am, I love all my um, nephews and nieces, even though I don't know all of them personally. E é muito inspirador realmente ver o que que o ser humano é capaz de fazer quando tem boa vontade e amor no coração é muito inspirador. And it is amazing to see what a human being can do when they have inspiration and love in their hearts. E a Clarice e o Wagner eles são porta-voz eu acho de um movimento 
humanístico essencial para que o planeta continue existindo. They uh, and Clarissa and Wagner are uh, a voice so that love can continue existing around the world. E que a gente possa realmente se inspirar nos pequenos detalhes. Nem todo mundo consegue, né, fazer o movimento de se mudar de país, de ir para outro local. And so uh, may this be a source of inspiration for us too, to be able Mas... to do small things because sometimes we are not able to move to other countries, but we can do small things that can make a Exato. huge change. E isso é o que eu pretendo, né, passar para o meu filho que eu estou grávida e eu me inspiro muito neles enquanto pais mesmo é, e estou é, muito feliz por esse projeto parabéns a todos os envolvidos and this is uh, how I want to inspire my child because I'm pregnant and uh, so uh, they are an inspiration for me thank you so much Oh, Maida, the special, very special message, and Julia for your translation. So, so grateful, and thank you so much for being a part of this. Jojo, I see you raising your hand. Are you open to? Are, was that you raising your hand, Jojo? Yes. <laughs> are you? Oh, oh, oh. Can we spotlight you, Jojo? Uh, we just need you to unmute. Open it. your audio. Your Can audio. Uh, unmute. I'm going to make him a co-host to mm. get over that. Um, Is it? It's fine? Yep, thanks. Do you hear me? Nice to see you, Jojo. Nice to see you too. <laughs> um, so I'm very grateful to see everybody, my family, and I'm really sorry that uh, I'm not there with you. We was always together all the time, and <laughs> the family was very beautiful, but now I'm not with them. But I'm still them with them in my heart. And I'm so happy, very, very happy for this beautiful family um, and this uh, universal love. I think is something that uh, it touched me, it touched my heart so much to see uh, the world can change with love. And we we always think about others and we always think about uh we always think uh to create a, a beautiful beautiful family uh without think about the religion uh anything like our skin our our culture but we build that love that can it can change this world So I'm so very proud for everybody and I really happy to with my family to be together and to build this beautiful family, to be happy, to be in peace. It's so amazing for me and to make also peace for me where I, I am here. So I just say thank you so much and continue to be in peace and the family keep growing and I thank so much, uh, mom and dad. They are so, so incredible person. <laughs> They are very amazing. I can't, I can't, I can't say. I don't know what to say. Is they are my hero. They always I say that to them. <laughs> They I can't cry. I'm sorry. I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. I just say thank you for this. I I, I really like this and continue to be in family. I love you so much, guys. Thank you so much, Jojo. And, and I just want to share, yeah, thank yeah. you for, for stepping love up. You, <laughs> love you, Jojo. Love you. Love you, Jojo. But the one who doesn't know Jojo is the firstborn. So he's not very close. He got a good opportunity in his life to study in the United States. So he is far from us, but uh, just far physically. Uh, we still together all the time. We love him so much and we thank him for the, this special message. <laughs> thank you so much. And Jojo, we want to do it, just congratulate you on this big milestone for you to go and um, study in the United States and, and the, your class is starting soon. And 
just a big change. And um, I know that you'll be still having the family close to your heart while you start this new chapter of uh, university very soon. So thank you for joining. I well, thank you so much. I see another hand up, Jenny. Uh, let's see if we can, thank you for joining Jenny. And uh, let's see if we can get uh, unmute if that's possible. It just should pop up on your screen. Good morning, can you hear me? Uh, good evening, can you hear me? Yes, okay. Yeah. Um, well, we're in California. Um, this is Mateo, and my husband Leo is from Argentina, de Mendoza. Um, but I just wanted to say that um, I teach Spanish, and I also teach global programs. And I love this film for the widening definitions of community and as a teaching point for my students who are really struggling with what community is after the pandemic. And here, at least with a lot of young people and teenagers who are very privileged with their positionality to have a lot of technology, they're very stuck in their phones and in their own one tiny world. And I think if, if with Annette's um, creativity and bringing this into my classroom, it allows them to travel to Malawi, two different places, and broaden their understanding of what community means. And so I just really wanted to thank you for deepening this definition and helping to teach young people that there are no one, one path towards family, towards creating um, possibilities of being together. And you are a beautiful example. Um, and I hope to be able to use the film uh, in my classes to work with my students on thinking about Let's break down the borders and community is much more. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you, Jenny, for your kind words. And we're always so grateful. Uh, Jenny has been an advocate and a very creative um, educator in bringing impact documentaries into her classroom. We're so grateful she's actually been uh, bringing Finding Ubuntu with Mike Mutej here and Divine Journey. Um, just really quick, do we have Divine and Mike uh, where we can spotlight them? I'd love to um get their thoughts I know we just had Mike speak but is divine around if not uh we can move on but I don't know if she can share her camera all right well we might move on until she can raise her hand and share a camera but thank you so much Jenny it's such a pleasure and hi Leo and Mateo <laughs> thank you so much um and is there anyone else who wanted to share a few words we're going to move on if that. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for raising your hand and sharing your thoughts. At this time, I'd like to spotlight some of the team that's been behind this and, you know, one, showcase the fantastic work that they've been doing, starting off with the film poster. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and showcase that. I think some of you might have seen a sneak peek of it earlier um, when I was sharing screen. So just want to make sure that that does show. Um, can everyone see screen? Okay, so we wanted to thank John, and we're going to bring John on stage here, who was behind the beautiful work of the film poster. Um, you know, the marketing team has been working and collaborating on finding the best um, shots from the film, and there were so many to choose from. I'm, I know it was difficult. We had many iterations and really um, wanted to um, showcase and spotlight and represent the beautiful multinational family and the love that emanates from Wagner and Clarissa. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to John to share about your process of creating this uh, beautiful poster. And um, I'm going to go ahead and we can spotlight you, John. Yeah, uh, so thank you, Annette, and hi, everyone. There's a lot of you here today. Um, and like you have you seen in the trailer, uh, Clarissa and Wagner are like true heroes dedicating their lives and organization, dedicating their lives to this organization, rather, and to the people in Malawi. And so the marketing team tried to do our best to try to capture this um, moment of truly universal love. And as you can see in the photos, we picked three of what we consider to be like the, the most um, warm, encompassing type of photos that everyone can emphasize with. Um, alongside the pictures of their families. And so while we are finishing up the documentary, I cannot wait to share the complete film with everyone, which is still in the process right now. And it's not only from here, but also beyond to the to the wider audience around the world. So yeah, thank you. 
Thank you so much, John. Um, I do want to do a shout out to our entire team. I'm going to do a shout out here with the slides, but if our team that's here, if any of you are here, you know, David, obviously Ivanovich, if you can get on, on camera and show your camera, we'd like to spotlight you all. Um, this is a labor of love across um, talent uh, across the world. So uh, we met Maria Julia Machado, who's our lead editor. I want to do a shout out to Tom King, my husband, who's been involved in supporting all of our productions behind um, the camera, behind the scenes. Um, uh, Trevor DeLello, who's been our associate producer. Emily Park, I know you're here. Uh, Dylan Gus, um, John Staff, Alfred Brown on the story development side, Amon McCutcheon on distribution, our marketing team, we have John here. So why don't I um, stop share and let's just spotlight them for a moment so that we can give them a special shout out. So if you all can just come forward, I think David Zul, if you're here, um, and Ivanovich, I think Pam might be around, I'm not sure, but let's get everybody up here and just so that the audience knows who's been behind this beautiful project. Um, and I don't, I think Dylan, can you, Dylan Gus, if you're still here, let's bring you forward if you can share camera. Um, I know it's a little early on Pacific time, so I don't know everyone was camera ready, but I do see David. So let me get him spotlighted. Thank you, David. Is Ivanovich camera? Uh, hey, Dylan. Ivanovich, here we go. That spotlight. Hey, Trevor. Hope we're not missing anybody. Tom, Tom King. Where is Tom's camera? Let's get Tom King on spotlight. I don't know. Do we exceed our spotlights? <laughs> I think we exceeded our spotlights. All right. Well, he's smiling there. Um, so sorry we exceeded spotlights. I didn't even know that was a limitation of Zoom, but Every day we learn another new feature or limitation of Zoom. Hi, everybody. Does anyone want to say a, a few words? Uh, Trevor, <laughs> Tom, David, anybody? Dylan? Not to put you on the spot, but just want to say hi. Just want to say uh, our extreme gratitude. I'm going to, I cannot um, resist the urge to take a screen grab right now for <laughs> so everybody smile. This is one uh, group of many who've been involved in the film. I don't know if Emily is in, is Emily here? Cause I, that's a special shout out. Where is Ivanovich? I don't think we got Ivanovich on. Okay, I think we might have to do a replace spotlight or something, but um, thank you so much everybody for being a part of this beautiful project and just so grateful for your participation and your contribution and your talents. At this time, we're gonna um, turn it over to Ahmad, who is our distribution lead, who's gonna share a little bit about the plans to distribute the film once uh, it's released. So Ahmad, take it away. All right, thank you, Annette. And thank you everyone for being here. This is my first time watching the trailer. So I'm just as smooth as everyone else is. And so even though the film is in May, we already have a pretty solid distribution plan. And so we have two main routes that we wanna take universal love. The first being film festivals. We wanna focus on film festivals that um, really celebrate and champion women-led and women-made stories, as well as ones that really uplift um, stories about families and love. And then the second route we want to take is we want to continue to do community screenings and partnerships with like-minded and similarly driven um, nonprofits, especially those that champion adoption rights and really work to help um, refugees, specifically refugee children's readjustment. But alongside all of these distribution routes, we also want to continue our partnership and screenings with um, Fraternity Without Borders, because similar to our very first film, Finding Ubuntu, which spotlights the humanitarian work from Fraternity Without Borders, their team and their leaders, we want to continue to share it with your community and essentially just get the film out to as many people as possible, just because we believe this is a story that everyone should see at least once. And it's so compelling that, you know, it'd be a dis um, service for people not to see it. And on that note, I think I can pass it back to Annette, who can speak a little bit more about the future of the film, um, Universal Love. Thank you, Ahmad. And we're so um, happy that Ahmad's been a part of our a, a team lead on the distribution side. You know, we see Universal Love, you know, going through the distribution path of festivals and um, but also community screenings and, and screenings that can um, be a part of inspiring families and audiences around the world, um, those maybe even touching those that have been a part of a growing family, a multinational family, um, families that are 
maybe the unconventional family, but one that's just a, a beautiful and um, representing just the diversity that we want to embrace in this world. So thank you. And I know there's going to be so many more paths to come. I do see a little shout out in the chat, Emily, amazing job team. I don't know if you want to come forward. I do want to do, I, I don't think I got, we, I think we got a limit on pins. Emily, are you there? Did you want to say a couple words or is it mostly chat? Hi, Emily. Emily's been our distribution um, lead as well. And I, I think we have you on mute so we can make you into a co-host if need be. Hi, guys. I just wanted to say amazing job to the entire team. Clarissa, thank you for doing such important work. Um, I would say throughout my time at Splicer Films, each one of the protagonists that we spotlighted, um, I've learned so much just professionally, but also as a human being about how to be empathetic, kind to one another, such important messages to share to the world today, um, especially with everything going on. So Clarissa, thank you. Can't wait to see your feature um, and support Spicer Films and you um, and everything you guys are doing. So great job. Thank you so much, Emily. So great to see you. And we're going to do a quick shout out to our screenwriting team. Julie, if you can... Um, come forward and just introduce the team that you've been collaborating with. We, we'd love to um, have them share their cameras and come forward and say a couple words or just say hi. Yeah, I just wanted to shout out Trevor Keeney and Spencer Chin, who uh, have, have been in my team helping me screenwrite Universal Love. And without them, we couldn't be doing this film and they've been an essential part to the story development. So thank you guys. Trevor should be here too, um, if we want to spotlight him. Yes, Trevor and Spencer, I know you all have been in screenwriting and studying screenwriting. Um, you know, sometimes these stories take shape, you know, on their own and um, really grateful for your contribution because it's it's been a lot of working with their, the footage and and shaping the story. If you wanted to say hello to the, uh, the audience or Clarissa and Wagner, we welcome that. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. And with that, you know, and thanks everybody, Ahmad, Julia, Emily, just all your contributions. We really look forward to hosting the film and sharing with everybody once it is ready for the world premiere. Um, of course, we still need to finish the film. There's still a lot happening in the world and life of Julia, um, I'm sorry, um, of uh, Gladysa and Wagner, and Julia's helping to capture that in with her, the screenwriting team and uh, Ivanovich as well. So thank you. At this time, I'd like to share a big drum roll and a big shout out for our marketing team because we want to showcase the new and the beautiful website that they just launched. Um, this is the Universal Love website. And so we welcome you to um, come follow our social medias, join the email list, and you can find all of this on universallovefilm.com. Uh, we'll be announcing events, screenings, talks once it releases, so stay tuned on Universal Love Film Instagram and Facebook, as well as our email list. So you can come to universallovefilm.com, subscribe to the email list, and, and follow the Instagram and Facebook. As you can see here, we've already started, so hats off to Jacqueline, John, Re, everybody on the marketing team, Bonnie, who's been a part of the contribution to build this beautiful um, social media and also this beautiful website. So thank you all so much. Um, with that, I'm gonna switch back over and make sure that we can talk with Wagner and Clarissa about the Returning Without Borders initiative. So I'm gonna go ahead and share screen and if we can bring Wagner and Clarissa forward. Um, with Wagner and Clarissa, we wanted to learn more and ask if you can share a little bit about um, what is happening with Fraternity Without Borders, any initiatives. Uh, we just talked about the social media here. I'll come back to that. Um, but we definitely want to spotlight the amazing humanitarian organization that Fraternity Without Borders um, it has been um, growing around the world and Wagner being the founder. So this is a way to follow them and um, learn more about how to support, how to volunteer, how to contribute in any way, whether it's through your network, through uh, financial means. Um, there's so many ways to get involved in support. So why don't we turn it over to Wagner and Clarissa, if you want to just share a few words about the initiatives um, at uh, Fraternity Without Borders. 
And I'll stop sharing screen so we can share. Olá, pessoal. Muito boa noite a todos. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Realmente é muito motivador. Eu queria dizer as primeiras palavras que isso é muito motivador. Ver esse material, ver todo o trabalho, né? Está sendo feito pela NET. E, e a equipe é muito motivador para todos nós. It is very see motivating to all of us to see all this coming out. Uh, thanks to Annette. Thank you very much for your team. Uh, a Organização Humanitária Fraternidades Sem Fronteiras tem essa mesma visão da Spacer Films. Spicer Films. So, uh, fraternity without borders has this uh, vision, the same vision as Splicer Films. Ele o amor e a to promote love and fraternity. Uh, a missão principal da organização humanitária é vivenciar o espírito de fraternidade. The main aim of the organization of fraternity is to live fraternity. O propósito é exercitar esse sentimento de amor uh, fraterno por todos, indistintamente, uh, independente da religião, independente da cultura, independente do país. It is to feel and live this love uh, with everyone, independently of their culture, of their religious background, of where they are from. Nós entendemos que se começarmos a enxergar toda a humanidade como uma grande família, os grandes males da humanidade se acabam. So if we start seeing uh, each other as a big uh, family, all the bad things that are happening around the world will pass. Então não vai ter mais fome, mais discriminação eh, e mais mortes por guerras. And there will be no more famine, no more discrimination and no more deaths because of war. Nós estamos formando uma grande corrente de amor pelo Brasil e pelo mundo. And we are forming this big uh, love chain throughout Brazil and the world. E a gente quer agradecer profundamente a NET que porque esse trabalho que está sendo feito e que vai ampliar ainda mais só faz fortalecer esse movimento de amor. And we would like to thank Annette and the team because this work will only make this uh, love movement stronger. Então a gente vai caminhar bem juntinho de você, viu, Annette? Poderia repetir, Wagner, por favor? A gente vai... Ela já entendeu lá, porque soltou um monte de coraçãozinho. Mas eu <risos> disse que a gente vai caminhar bem juntinho dela nesse movimento de amor. Yes, we will walk together in this movement of love, Annette. Always. Thank you. Thank you Thank so much. You. Obrigado. <laughs> That's very sweet. Thank you so much. We're very honored to be able to share your story and to be trusted. We we want to tell it authentically and represent it in a way that um, really represents the love that you all share with your family and the love that we should all have as humanity. And so thank you so much. I would like to maybe share, uh, Wagner, if, if possible, a little bit about the program that you have. Uh, 
coming up in Los Angeles. For those who are not aware, um, there is an event coming up in Los Angeles. So for anyone who's in the uh, United States or West Coast, this is coming up very soon in less than two weeks uh, or in about two weeks, May 11th from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. I think Marcio might, I don't know that he's on today, but Marcio um, is one of the main coordinators and it will be in Long Beach. There's a free RSVP. If you um, feel in your heart to donate, um, there is an option to donate and participate in this very meaningful program that will be in Long Beach, California, where Wagner will be speaking, um, many uh, key individuals who've been a part of the Fraternity Without Borders organization, and the theme is Be the Change You Want to See in the World. Is there anything else that we should uh, share about this program, Wagner, Clarissa, or Julia Cunha? Okay, well, we'll invite people to join us in this um, project, and of course, um, want to thank everybody for being here. I do want to um, mention that we have seen some people join a little late today, and I know we have just a couple minutes, so I'd like to replay the trailer um, for those who might have joined late and missed it, and then we can say our farewells if that's okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick because I know we had some folks join. It will be launching and on our social medias as well and on the website. But I'm just so proud of this, and it's such a beautiful uh, moment that we're um, sharing today. And I just want to um, share that one more time before we wrap up and say our farewells. I am Clarissa Pereira da Paz. I am coordinator of Fraternidades Sem Fronteiras NGO, and I live in Malawi. It's now 52,000 refugees there, and it looks like it's arriving around 500 to 700 refugees per month. We are receiving around 60 people every day asking us a job, asking us help. The truth is that we can help just few people. If you see the amount of refugees living in Zaleka, the ones who receive our help is just few. It's even not 1% of the population. So the need is huge. Imagine if all the families could adopt a child who is orphaned. We could not have orphans in the world. It's not allowed to officially adopt a refugee here in Malawi. But I feel in my heart they are my kids. They feel in their hearts I am their mother. So I can't give up. Maybe. If the world knows that this is happening with refugees and this is happening with our lives, maybe one day we can really have them as our kids. I used to tell them they have two mothers, the biologic mother and me, the, the, the adopt mother, and the, the ones who they born by their hearts. I explained them that they born through my heart. Our family is an example of a family uh, of love. That love is not biologic. Love is, is for everyone, is for anyone, who is for all the people in the world. Thank you, everybody, for joining today. We're just so grateful. I actually want to do a special shout out to Zach, who, who couldn't make it today, but Zach worked on that last part of the trailer with the globe and the special effects there with the heart and that heartbeat. It's just such a beautiful um, part of the trailer, and we wanted to thank Zach for being a part of that creative process as well. So thank everybody for joining today. Um, if there's anyone who wants to do last minute shout outs, we welcome it. I do see Tears, Lord, I've had a few tears myself. Um, I think we have somebody who just raised their hand. Um, and so, yes, feel free. And if anyone needs to drop, no worries. I know we're at time, but feel free to share your, your words. Thank Hi. you. Hi. Thank you for the inspiration, uh, Annette, with this film and, and spreading the love that Fraternity Without Borders does all over the world, especially in Africa, and um, featuring. Clarissa and Wagner's family. I mean, this is just a work of love. 
that you are helping to spread around the world and we all need it. And I just wanted to also, I tried to raise my hand before, but I didn't find. So in case anybody, nobody saw in the chat, we'll have an event here in Florida as well. So next Saturday, May 4th, we'll have the first Fraternity Without Borders meeting in Florida. And we are hoping that this will be annual. So uh, Wagner will be here in Florida and other speakers as well. So that this will be the beginning. And then after that will be California and other places, uh, Denver also. So thank you. See you soon, Wagner. Thank you so much. I'm just throwing that in the chat for everybody to see. I hope you can see it. Here's the link to register for the event in Florida, ladies. Thank you so much for organizing that. And uh, it's just remarkable. I don't know how Wagner does it going all over the globe in the world to, to um, do this amazing work. I do have uh, Julia, I think that, uh, yes, thanks, Julia. Come on up. Um, thank you, Annette. Uh, I was asked uh, before this meeting, somebody asked me, uh, could you please get informed where we can buy the film or where we can rent the film? Uh, so I believe it will be in the website, right? Uh, yes, actually, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to undo the spotlight on you. Uh, yes, so it will be on the website, um, universallovefilm.com. And keep an eye there. We did, if we want to just share, I can share the screen to, to follow our Instagram, our Facebook, and also our website, since that's really where we're going to be announcing um, the upcoming events and, of course, the release of the film. So it is in post going to start post-production. We're still filming, and Ivanovich is there filming. So as soon as it uh, wraps up post-production and we release it, we will be sharing on the website, but again, like I shared, please join us and follow Universal Love Film on Instagram and on Facebook, Universal Love Film, and um, also join the email list, which is at the bottom of the website. I think Ahmad and the team have also placed that in the, um, the chat as well, so we welcome you to continue to follow us. We will be sending out e email invites to make sure that everyone has that and um, can uh, join in. So I'm going to go ahead and share that QR code here on joining the email. And so you can join here. I'll just let give it a moment if you're able to take a picture with your phone. And then, of course, all the social medias. Shout out, uh, John and Jacqueline, if you all want to <laughs> um, say a few words about the social media, feel free. Any other questions before we wrap up? Thank you, Julia, for that. Really appreciate it. I see a lot of messages in the chat and really wanted to just thank everybody for joining today. Uh, this has just been such a beautiful uh, time to, to share and reflect and, and celebrate this beautiful milestone. And I just, again, wanna thank the team here um, that's been a part of this. There's been so many people behind the scenes making this happen and I'm just, so incredibly grateful for the Spicer Films team and the Fraternity Without Borders team. Julia, I know that you joined in to help us on this project today. And um, thank you so much to you. We're so grateful. And Ivanovich, if you want to come over and say hello, I don't know where you are, but just please come on over and say hi. Um, we're going to wrap up soon. But again, if you want to linger and say a few words, feel free. Um, again, thank you. Hats off, team. Congratulations. Can we get a screen grab of this uh, tile, Jacqueline and John? Smile. Where's, oh, is Divine and Mike here? I just have to get them back up there. Um, if Mike Mutaj, if you're still around and you can show your camera, we would love to see you. And Divine, I don't know. I think she might've had to drop. All the people who are involved in our projects, we're so grateful. 
Hi, Devani. Behind the. Hi, Jojo. Yeah, the babies, they are not here. Yeah, see you. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for being a part of this. And we're just so grateful. Thank you. Hats off, Julia, for the beautiful work. Jojo, we send our love. We send our well wishes. We wish you all the best as you start school in Utah. Larissa Wagner, thanks. And all of the kids, thanks for staying up late with us today. We love you. Ivanovich, thank you for being who you are and all the amazing work you do. Love you, Jojo. With you, black. What did they say? Thank you, everybody. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.